Hi everyone, today I'm going to be giving you gift ideas under $50. There's going to be some fashion things, some homeware, even electronics, accessories of course. So keep on watching. The first idea is a candle and you can do this in different ways. For your minimal girlies, you can go with the minimal aesthetic. I love the ones from Target, they smell really good, under $20. Or you could go for more of a unique candle. My favorite ones are from Etsy, specifically one that's shaped in an espresso martini. They could put it on top of a book for decoration, super cute. The seller's candle loom. Next is a really adorable heart cake candle. I think it's super cute, the candle's like a little cherry on top again this could be used as decor or they can actually light it if they'd like i personally wouldn't i'd probably just use it as decoration and i know a candle could feel pretty generic so a way to level this gift up is to pair it with a cool lighter holder matchstick holder or a vintage inspired zippo lighter for the more edgy people i found the coolest chainmail lighter holder as well as more of a silver vintage inspired holder and oh my god i saw the most beautiful lighter holder from this instagram account called floating world i don't think it's for sale yet but i just i just needed to show you guys i know it's not fully relevant well kind of <laughs> anyway let's keep it moving for the match holders, I found the most adorable cowboy boot shaped match holder and you like the match on the bottom of the boot. My favorite is the red one with like the black little heart on it. And it comes packaged so cute already. You can just probably pop in the candle right next to it. Additionally, I found the most adorable vintage match holder that you can actually nail to the wall. I think it'd be such a fun gift. And the cutest of them all is a miniature house shaped match holder and you light the match on the side of the house they have them in like a cream color and then a gray color can you imagine your friend keeping it next to a candle in their living room so cute for the zippo lighters i found this seller called stellar custom images who does vintage inspired lighters and my favorite one that they sell is a picture of a little cat drinking out of a glass on top of a table super cute especially if your friends or family have cats i also found a really cute one with a pinup on the cover next is scrunchy socks fuzzy socks or tights my favorite scrunchy socks are the ones by hue they're very soft they're under 20 dollars well, they're $21 for a three pack, but they're really good quality and they're super trendy right now. So for your trendy friends and family, I think those would be a good way to go. As far as tights, pattern tights are super in right now. You can get them some plaid tights. My favorite ones are from Target, they're 10 bucks. And then I found a lace version that are really cute as well, also 10 bucks. But if you want to be a little extra, you can get them some from Free People. My favorite ones that I found are green and they have the cutest little flowers all over them. And as far as fuzzy socks, you really can't go wrong. They sell them everywhere, Target, Amazon, Etsy, I'm sure. And you could just go with like their favorite color, favorite pattern, favorite character, whatever. Have fun with it. And by the way, people love receiving socks. Well, at least I do. At least adults do. I feel like when you're younger, it feels like a lame gift. But when you're older, sometimes we don't buy these things for ourselves. So it's nice to have someone stock up for us. The next gift idea is for the readers in your life and that is just a couple of books wrapped in a bow or wrapped in a really cute way paired with a really unique cute bookmark or a bookmark that's related to an interest of theirs. I would recommend going for used books and my favorite website for that is thriftbooks.com. They have like the most amazing deals. Some of the books are like half off. I shop there all the time. You can do like a three book bundle. I really like them just wrapped with a bow, all cute. Like they don't even have to be individually wrapped or anything like that. I think gifting books is very special because it kind of shows that you know the person, their interests, and kind of telling them like, hey, this made me think of you and I feel like you'd really enjoy these books. As far as unique bookmarks, the possibilities are endless. I found the cutest vintage inspired bookmarks on Etsy. It reminds me of like a vintage spoon. Also, I found the coolest seller, Autumn Bear Studios, who puts like famous writers on the little picture. I think it's super cool. My favorite one is the one with Mary Shelley in it. For your feminist homies, I feel like they'd really appreciate this. Ooh, they also have a really cool one with um, Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe? Why did I say it? It's so weird. Anyway. Oh my god but my most favorite of them all are these library checkout card bookmarks they're legit they're actually vintage you can actually pick what year you want them from i think it ranges from like the 60s to 
I don't know when, but they're pretty cool. They're laminated. I feel like anyone would love this bookmark. For the coffee or tea drinkers in your life, you can give them a mug with your favorite tea bags or a bag of your favorite coffee. I wanted to show you guys that you can literally thrift the cutest mugs or get them secondhand. I think, honestly, I think I'd prefer a secondhand mug than a new mug, but that's just me. There's a lot of cute options on Etsy, but I just wanted to show you the two that I've gotten secondhand that I would give as gifts if I didn't like them for myself. Anyway, I recently thrifted this one at Goodwill and it's ceramic, handmade, and I could tell because it has the person's signature. Just look at this workmanship. It's freaking beautiful. Hopefully it focuses. What's extra special about this mug, it has imprints so you can hold it like this or you can hold it like this. My favorite part is the swirl on the inside. Imagine you could put your favorite coffee bag in there or next to it, whatever, with like a bow. So damn cute. The other one that I got secondhand, it was a secondhand pop-up shop in my local coffee shop that they had. It was, I believe, 15 bucks. Definitely under budget. Anyway, this one's also handmade, ceramic. Look at how beautiful the colors are. Obsessed with brown. I love a huge mug and then the handle. Like, how cute is that? For those of you who don't have time to thrift, I've compiled a little list of really cool secondhand mugs available on Etsy. There's a seller called Posey Vintage Co. And she has a picture of a bunch of vintage mugs that you can choose out of for $12.30. Then I found this really cute cherry mug from Gracie China Shop US. And my favorite of them all is this really cute misshapen lined coffee mug. What makes this extra special is that you could put a little message on the mug love something that you could personalize. They're $34, so under budget. You could also go for silly and fun and get them a mug related to something that they're interested in, whether that be like a movie, a show, a band, whatever. I personally am obsessed with Sopranos and I found the cutest Soprano mug. It has a duck and it's saying Gabagoo and it's only a dollar. I would love that mug. The next idea is framed art. You could go with the print that's related to their favorite series, their favorite movie, their favorite band or artist. You can also do a vintage magazine cover that was released on their birthday month. I think that would make it extra special, extra fun. The way you're gonna keep this gift under $50 is buying the print on Etsy. You could either print it out at home, go to your local FedEx, print it out there on some nice paper. I'm sure you could do it under like 10, 15 bucks. I did some digging and found some really cool prints on Etsy. I really love this one that is like a love letter and it's 15 bucks. Also, the price is depending on the size. So if you're more on a budget, obviously it's going to be a smaller print. It's not going to be the giant print because that's going to cost more money. From another seller, it's an ace card. I really love those prints. They're, I would say they're more for like your minimalist friends and family members. Then I found the seller at Lagoon Springs who does a personalized stack of CDs. So can you imagine putting your friend or family members favorite 15 artists uh, stacked up? This is a really cool gift. And it is 26 47 for the smallest size. This would look cool in your friend's living room, in their office, in the bathroom. I put it in the bathroom. Oh my god, I also found the seller who does music inspired prints, but they give it a twist. Their prints are inspired by vintage books. For instance, this Robert Smith one with the lullaby, the song lullaby. They did like a little old school carriage with like a spider. Oh my god, I I'm obsessed with it. They also did a Radiohead version and oh my god, you, you have to go on their website. They are so cool. I also found a seller who does music prints, but the background is a newspaper. My favorite one is just the Cranberries one. As far as the magazine cover that was released on their birth month or birth year, those are a little harder to find and you're gonna have to do some digging. I did find one that was released in December, which is my partner's birthday month, which I think is pretty cool. And then I found one that's on my birthday, which is 420, that I think is pretty cool. Like, look at her outfit. Go off, girl. She looks like such a badass. I would frame this. For your Gilmore Girl fanatics out there, I found this really cool print that says no cell phones. I like when prints make subtle hints at a band or a show. I don't like when it's like directly, like for instance, like a picture of Lorelai and Rory. Like, I don't know, I think that's lame. The little subtle ones, like the ones I put up here, I think they're cooler. And just more aesthetically pleasing in a space. Out of those ideas, my favorite is the more personal one, but it's the one that takes more work and more digging. Either way, all of these sellers are freaking cool. 
Next is general home decor. So that could be a shelf, it could be a cool mirror. I found two ideas for you guys. The first is a vinyl record shelf and these go for 14, 15 a piece. And you can also like do them up like they have in the picture. You could put like a cool Polaroid of you and your friend or you and your family member, just clip it on there. Also a red traffic mirror. I'm obsessed with these. I, I really need to get my hands on one. But anyway, I think those two are really cool ideas. It's something you can thrift as well. As long as you know the person's taste, you really can't go wrong. And if your family or friends know you, they know you're a thrifter. So I don't think they will mind getting something secondhand. Just make sure you clean it up real good, disinfect it, wrap it up all cute. Honestly, they probably won't even know if you don't tell them. Next we have personalized keychains or just aesthetically pleasing keychains. I found this seller who does album inspired art. I really love this system of a down one. She has Deftones, some Yoshimoto Nara keychains, some Alex G keychains, Mazzy Star. They're so freaking cute. You guys have to check out, check out their shop. But I think the most special of them all is one that you can do a personalized album cover. You input whatever album you want and they paste it on the keychain. It's just a fun idea. There's also ones with like stars on them, little swirls, a match. So the possibilities are endless. The next idea is a phone case. We all have a friend with a grimy phone case. Just kidding, that's me. But anyway, I feel like most of us like to switch out our phone cases from time to time and I think it's never a bad idea to have options. So as long as you know your friends or family's um, phone type, you can get them a cool phone case. I found so many cute options for you guys. A lot of them are like um, Sanrio inspired, like this one with little hearts. My favorite ones are the ones that are collages. I think they're just so freaking cool. I found this super trendy one that looks like it has trinkets in the back of it and oh my god for the Lana Del Rey girlies they would go crazy over this phone case. In the same realm there's a seller that does collage style Yoshimoto Nara phone cases. I just ordered one for myself so you know that I love them. Then because metallic is a huge trend right now I found this really cute chrome heart one and then a I don't know if it's chrome it's more metallic kind of star one as the stars that are kind of lifted which i don't know i think it'd be fun to play with the texture but anyway that's not the point a phone case easy idea you can find so many under 30 dollars next idea are pins brooches or patches you can even level this up by thrifting a bag for them it's so easy to thrift cute bags like let me show you like look at these bags i've thrifted they're in like a really great condition. We have this brown one right here with the little tassel. Imagine with one of the keychains that I talked about earlier. Then we have this really cute leopard one that I literally got for one dollar. I have to show you because the inside is so cool. It's red. Imagine with some punk pins, which is how I usually have it. I don't know where my pins are. Again, this is such a personal gift because you can buy things that are tailored to their taste. For instance, you could do a pin with the slogan that they might find funny or their favorite band, movie, animal, whatever. Related to the purses, it's really in right now to decorate your bags, whether that be with ribbons, pins, brooches, even like chains or keychains. So you could start off the collection for them and then they could just keep adding on to it. My absolute favorite pin seller is Wild Paisley Button Co. It's where I got my Sonic Youth pin that I wear all the time. I also like them because they're huge. I love a big pin. And then I also like a tiny mini pin as well. I think it'd be extra special to get them a vintage brooch. Oh my God, like look at this star one I found on Etsy, as well as this rose for the more kind of like coquette aesthetic people. And as you can see, they're one of a kind, both under $30, so pretty cool in my opinion. As far as patches, there's tons of sellers on Etsy, but I have some of my favorites that I will link below and put on the side here. Next we have gloves, mittens, or hand warmers. I think this is a great gift. You can get them knitted, cotton, mohair, and whatever color or style is their favorite. I found so many options on Etsy. My favorite are the handmade ones, of course, but oh my god, these ones from Amazon are really cute and I try not to condone purchasing on Amazon but girls sometimes we're on a budget and that's all we can do so I just wanted to put the option out there. Then the seller on Etsy that has the cutest knitted hand warmers in different colors. My favorite ones are the gray tone stripe ones. They're all $25 which I think is a great deal for them being handmade. And then I found these star ones with the five on them. So damn cute. 
If you don't have the time to online shop and you want to get some in person, Urban has some really cute gloves. My favorites are their fingerless mittens. I got the black ones on sale a couple days ago. And oh my god, look at these adorable coquette ones with the bows on them. So damn cute. All of these are under $40. Side note, you could also sew on some patches on the gloves if they're like a plain color or stripes. I think that would like elevate the gift so much. Then we have a bonnet or a balaclava. These are super trendy right now and practical. Like who doesn't want to have warm ears? And if it's windy, it keeps your hair from flying all over the place. From ASOS, this brown one is really cute, 25 bucks. Then we have a bunch from Etsy, handmade. Oh my God, like look at this bonnet with the red stripes. Ah, perfection. I also have like a plain black one and then this dark green one's really cute as well. Urban as well has some really cute ones right now. Like look at this knitted brown tone one, green one. This green one they have in black, pink, and cream I believe as well. 25 bucks. You would have never guessed. The next one is scarves. <laughs> scarves never get old as a gift in my opinion. You could go with a skinny scarf. You could go with a thick big old scarf. It could be knitted, it could be cotton, it could be silk, depending on whatever the person's taste is. I found this really nice skinny scarf on cotton on for 20 bucks. Then we have this like giant green and brown stripe one on Etsy for $31. There's a lot of sales right now, so I would get on it. Then we have one from Urban that's really cute. It has stripes, has the little tassels. 20 bucks right now. You could also do like a glove scarf combo and still be under $50 or a balaclava scarf combo and probably still be under $50 if you're smart about it. Use coupons, do some digging. You can also thrift these, but depending on who it is in your friend group or your family, I know some people are more open to secondhand gifts than others. So if they are open to them, I think it'd be really fun to thrift this gift. Next idea is super trendy, more tailored to the people in your life who like taking pictures, aesthetic pictures more specifically, and it is a digital camera, more so like a vintage 2000s sort of camera. And I found some really great options on Etsy. Starting off with this one for $21, it has the SD card and the charger, I believe. Then I found this Fujifilm one for $35. And actually this seller are called Puzzlet, they have a bunch of vintage cameras in great condition with the SD card and everything. Look at this, they have one for 40, 30, $25. So I'm sure you can find one tailored to your needs. The only thing with this gift is whoever you're gifting it to will probably have to buy an adapter or you can buy an adapter for them if you know what kind of phone or computer they have. For the skincare obsessed, we have a forever eye mask. I found two brands that have like amazing reviews and the first one is Deluxe, the second is One Kind. And what's cool about these is that you can reuse them forever and ever. You just have to clean them off with some soap and water. The way it works is you put your eye cream and then you put those over top and it's supposed to help the product absorb better in your skin and a lot of people say that it makes a difference so I think this would be a great sustainable gift. Next we have a cool planter or vase. This is a gift you can thrift very easily or buy secondhand on Etsy or also handmade on Etsy. There's some really affordable options. Some of my favorites are from Denise aka Her Feelings on YouTube and Instagram. Love her. She's super talented. She has the cutest Miffy ones. Also this really cute one with Snoopy who has um, sunglasses on and he's windswept. <laughs> and they're all under $50 which girl that's a great deal for all the work that she puts into it i also found this seller mossy stone shop that does this like really cool graffiti style planter i think it's so awesome for a little bit more you can also put like a little figurine on it but if you want a better deal it comes with no figurine and i think it's just as cool without it oh my god and then i found the cutest vase a slash planter and it's this vintage kitty at first when i looked at it i was like where does the plant go Bam, it goes behind it. So damn cute, $36.99. Also, if you go to like your local plant store, they usually have ceramic planters, handmade. For instance, I got this planter at my local plant shop and I believe he was $15. I know it was under 20 bucks, but look at him. It needs water, don't judge me. I love the way this plant grew. 
Anyway, your friend or family member can use this for a plan. They can use it to store pencils. They can use it to store who knows, but I'm sure they will figure it out. In the same realm, we have a catch-all. This can double up as a place to store your pins, like hair accessories, as well as like jewelry, trinkets. It could also be an ashtray. So this is so damn easy to thrift or get secondhand on eBay, on Etsy. I have an example here. Oh. oh, there's so much stuff in it. I don't know what this was meant to be, but I love the color so much. So I took it home with me from Goodwill and I just store some of my pins in there. I found some options for you guys that you can get online. Starting off with this really adorable one from Urban. It has a bow on it. Pretty good size. And from Etsy, we have this freaking adorable Snoopy one who was ready to go camping. <laughs> and it's $15. And we have this beautiful kind of like pressed flower one for $20 from a seller called Morning Bell Vintage. She has a bunch of heart-shaped catch-alls and you can see here, she shows an example of how they can be utilized. But basically you just pick your favorite color. Mine is the green one, of course, and they're only $12 if you could believe that. Next is a monogram boat bag. And these were super huge a couple months ago. I'm not sure if they still are, but I think they're really cute, especially for your more kind of like preppy sort of friends. People with more of like a clean aesthetic, I think would really enjoy this bag. And Chloe was seen wearing one of these, so I think that automatically makes them cool. I can never pronounce her last name. Chloe Sauvignon, Sauvignon, Sauvignon. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about though. Anyway, uh, what makes this cool is that you can personalize it. You could pick a funny phrase, you could put their name, you could put their initials, the possibilities are endless. I really like the one from LL Bean, but unfortunately it seems like if you order it now, it will not get here on time. Luckily, I found an alternative Etsy seller for you guys. The shop is called The New Shop and they do the same thing pretty much. They also have more options and these will actually get to you on time for Christmas. I don't think you go wrong with this. Everyone loves a tote bag, even if your friend or family member uses it to go grocery shopping or thrifting or whatever, or for the beach or a boat. Second to last is just a cool t-shirt. That could be a baby tee, it could be just like a regular oversized tee. This could work for any gender, doesn't matter. It could be a shirt with like a funny slogan, like a stupid print on it, a favorite band. And you can really find some cool ones under $50. There's so many options. I will share my favorite shops with you guys. Starting off with Eager to Tees on Etsy, they have really cool baby tees, my favorites are this one with the eyeballs. And then for your Sony Angel craze besties, they have some really cute Sony Angel t-shirts. Like look at this one, an apple a day, so cute. Then we have the brand Romantic Blue, super sick shirts, look at this, $30. Then we have In Print We Trust. I think this one's kind of funny. It says, I'm not shy, I just don't like you. I would like that one. Then I also like the one with the garbage can on it. And then of course, Lizzie BTQ. I'm wearing my new Radiohead t-shirt right now. They have like the sickest band tees. Sometimes they have regular kind of like men style ones, but for the most part, they're baby tees. What I love about this shop too, they go up to XXL, which a lot of these shops don't. Lastly is a shop called At The Moment, and they have just the most fun prints. These would be especially cool for like the dudes in your life. I love the tees with like the chairs on them, the food, they have, I had to go back to that ranch dressing one because I was like, hold on. <laughs> they have ones with like gyoza, and then for the car guys, we have like crewnecks with cars on them, t-shirts, like look at this one, one with the radiator. Seems to me that they also have some cute beanies and socks, and all of these t-shirts are under $50, so you can't go wrong. Last gift idea is a card game called We're Not Really Strangers. I adore these cards. My favorite ones are the Friends Edition and the Kids version. Recently I did the Friends one at a little gathering and it was just so sweet. It really gets you to open up. Like for instance, one of the questions was like, what was your first impression of me? Or something you admire about the other person. There's like three sections and it goes from like surface level, mid level, and then dives really deeply. I think it's just like a great way to get closer to your friends and family. I think this would make an amazing gift and highly recommend. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think the game is under like 
20 bucks for sure. You can find these online. They usually have a coupon or at Target. That's where I got mine. Also, I just want to add that you can combine these gift ideas. For instance, you can get your friend like scrunchy socks and then a mug with your favorite coffee and still be under $50. It's like their own little personal bundle. I think it's super fun and a way to stay under budget and just make the gift feel extra special. I know sometimes it could feel maybe not the best, at least personally, just giving someone a pair of socks, right? I always like to add just a little, a little touch of something extra and still be under budget. I think it's possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some of these ideas helpful. I will link everything that I talked about down below if it's available. I hope that I can help you stay under budget this Christmas because I know it's rough out here. As always, if you want to keep seeing this face, please subscribe down below. Bye.